Good morning. Chris Ward, broker in charge of Eagle Realty and Eagle Resorts in North Myrtle Beach. I was realizing that I haven't posted a video yet in 2016. Shame on me. I'll call it holiday slump or just a little bit of procrastination getting into the year, getting into January. Um, kind of sad, been busy. We're all busy, we're all doing things. Usually, I'll just put this quote out, it's not a lack of time, but a lack of priority. So really, I just haven't made it a priority to put a video out. I actually recorded this video yesterday, but it was too shaky, so I didn't post it. We were just talking about, um, at our first company meeting of 2016, um, I had all my agents do a SWOT analysis. And so the topic of this video is a little bit about SWOT, which stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Um, if you have not done a SWOT analysis for 2016, it's a great, I mean, you can do these anytime. It's, it's real short, it's real simple, it's to the point. Um, it's a great tool to review not only your recent past, but to strategize and plan for your very near future. Um, so we used it as a year in review of 2015 and looking ahead to 2016, what can we do better and how can we utilize the resources and um, gifts that we, we have. So this goes for any industry, not just real estate, not just real estate agents. Um, of course, with uh, SWOT analysis, like I said, very simple. Strengths, what are your strengths? What are you doing well? What can you do well? Um, you want to make sure you know those, that you're maximizing those, that your budget, marketing budget, all those kind of things come into line with what your strengths are. Um, weaknesses, um, you want to find a way to solve these weaknesses. Sometimes they're inherent and you can't get rid of them. So sometimes you may have to like hire a team member, bring on a partner who has strengths where you have weaknesses. Um, so we can balance that out and, and uh, grow and still thrive in the midst of a weakness that we may have. Opportunities, of course, you want to seize opportunities. You want to see what's uh, lying ahead. You got to strategize out and uh, make sure you're maximizing um, opportunities that, that you may not have taken advantage of. Um, for instance, one of them for our industry was just like, you know, are you farming where you live? There's an opportunity right there. You already live there. You already probably know the neighborhood that you live in really well. If you're not actually trying to gain business there, then you're missing that opportunity. And of course, threats. Um, we're always going to have threats to our business. Some threats are way out of our control, economic, um, economy, political, any, what, anything that, that affects um, our industries that you're in or whatever industry you're in. Um, but you want to learn how you can strategize and plan to minimize the threat as much as possible. Um, you want to make sure that you, you know them, that you're aware, but also that you have a plan and a strategy that might minimize any damage that the threat may cause to your actual business growth. So there you go, SWOT analysis. Very simple, couple minutes. I totally recommend these. Um, you can go to our career site and actually fill out what's called a confidential business um, assessment and where I can help you kind of go through your past year and then basically take a SWOT analysis approach to what you can do to enhance your business for 2016. So uh, so first video of the year, hopefully, hopefully it's helpful, not only to realtors, but any business that you're in. I hope you have a great rest of the week and a great 2016.